Hello friends. This is uh, going to be a video about uh, the project, the data logger project I started a long time ago and uh, going over all the iterations of circuit boards that I've designed for it and hopefully I'll get into the solder, or no, the software uh, later. So here's the first uh, PCB I designed and this is just a EMG uh, collection amplifier. We have the instrumentation amplifier and a um, normal op amp for the output stage. It runs on two CR2032 batteries and it actually worked sort of. I think I had the um, the jack wired up wrong or the power actually. The power I had uh, wrong on the board but using Osh Park it wasn't that expensive. I think this was just over ten dollars for three of these boards. This is another EMG amplifier. I used um, the schematic I found in the uh, 11671 data sheet. They have a nerve impulse amplifier schematic. And so I just decided to design up a uh, PCB board for that. Also runs on two 2032 batteries. It has an input jack 3.5 millimeter for the three electrodes and then output stereo. Uh, after that I started looking into um, recording EMG data instead of, or not, I meant accelerometer data instead of EMG data. And this is a little accelerometer breakout board from China. A uh, micro SD card uh, breakout board from JCon Systems. And this is an MSP uh, 432274, I think. This is when I, where I first got the um, data to re record onto an SD card successfully. These boards were very difficult. Uh, I wanted to test out the ADS11, or I think it's 1911 uh, from Texas Instruments. It's a analog front end and uh, analog to digital converter for like uh, ECG circuits. Um, this was the first one I attempted to solder to, but the uh, solder paste that I got, the low temperature solder paste, was really difficult. I just didn't seem to want to melt properly. Um, and I used also used um, 201 sized uh, passives, which are extremely tiny. I don't know if I can zoom in. Uh, right there, that's where a, a capacitor would go. There's another uh, component. So that's the 201 sized components. Uh, this is my final attempt here. And those are, I think, I think that one's a 603, that one's a 402, I think. But yeah, that's MSP430G2744, which is a relatively new uh, processor. It's one of their value lines, it's similar to the breakout board on, on this one here, except for this one has uh, built-in op amps, programmable op amps. Well, this one does not, since I wasn't using them. It doesn't matter. That's the uh, accelerometer, and that's the ADS1911 single channel front end. So here's getting pretty close to the final design. Um, this just has an accelerometer pad and uh, the CPU pad here. Uh, two LEDs. Uh, I had trouble with the uh, spy by wire, by wire programming interface and so that was one issue with this one. I think I was still having issues. I know that capacitor had to go, or else the spy by wire uh, interface wouldn't connect. And this is the, the final one that's working right now. You have the programming header here, the CPU here, and power uh, power regulator, I guess low dropout voltage regulator, 3 volts, 
and this accelerometer, QFN, chips, uh, and on the back side we have the power switch and the um, micro SD card slot. The card just slips into uh, into there. Two LEDs, a red LED, and a green LED. Uh, so that's that for the uh, circuits.